Hey guys, AK47 Master here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. On this episode, we're going to be doing the uh, Sunstone side quest. And in order to do the Sunstone side quest, you're going to need to head to 2300 AD in the future and head over to the head over to the Sun Palace. And right here, I want to equip that better better armor for. Actually, I'm going to actually replace Luga with Ayla. Not that it really matters much, but anyways, time to go to the Sun Palace to retrieve the Sunstone to start up the side quest. So you're going to walk right over here, and this place is going to look very similar to the Ocean Palace, which is a little strange since it is the Sun Palace after all. And basically, in order to take down this boss, you have to hit the proper uh, little thing of fire. And it's gonna counterattack you if you take the wrong one. So, all right, we have we found out two of them. We're not the right one. Let's try third times the charm, maybe. Nope. All right. Wow, I'm actually having some pretty bad luck with this right off the bat. Kind of sucks. And it does no fire spells, so it is pretty powerful. Just make sure you use something that's going to be uh, effective against that type of thing. And hopefully we. We will get the right one. Nope. Wow. What freaking bad luck. Well, the very last one is the one that happens to be the proper one. So basically, you have to hit the right one ten times, I believe. It doesn't matter how much damage you do. You'll always do the same damage every time you hit it. It just matters how many times you actually hit it. So you're going to want to want some, uh, some fast characters. I actually should not have used Robo because it doesn't really matter what characters you use it just matters how many turns you're able to hit this thing and again doesn't matter how much damage you deal out all that matters is you hit this thing at least 10 times and again with the roulette spin i'm actually going to use heal beam yeah heal beam will probably be the best option for me and a high potion <laughs> For R2D2, because he's just way too low in health. Also, for this week's Top 5 Tuesdays, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm actually going to be doing a 2-in-1, two, two since I missed last week for you guys. So, I'm going to be choosing two different topics to do in one episode. So, that will be nice. I'll be sure to record that in advance, because I'm going to be pretty busy on Tuesday, actually. I'm not going to be able to record it on Tuesday. So... Also, you want to make sure not to hit multiple flames at the same time before seeing which ones will actually deal out damage. So, I'm guessing it's the one in the back. Hopefully it's the one in the back. But hopefully I get the right. No. Again, <laughs> look, I'm having, I'm just having bad luck. This really isn't a, a difficult boss. And it's, oh my god, that is, that sucks. That sucks. It did roulette spin before I even got to uh, hit it. Okay, there we go. Alright, good. We are actually getting a little bit uh, luckier with this. It's basically... This, I don't like this boss battle, in all honesty. It's random as hell. And it's a bit tedious if you don't know what to do. So, yeah. That's my, that's my gripe with this boss battle. Which is why I left this side quest uh, for last. Because I definitely knew I wanted to do this side quest later on in the list of quests that I wanted to do. I knew I was going to do it at some point, but... I knew I wasn't, it wasn't going to be like, it wasn't my first on the list, so. Alright, shouldn't have too many more hits until this thing's finally done. Alright, we're still going, still going. Hopefully it doesn't roulette spin before I get to defeat it. And it's still alive. <laughs> and it did a roulette spin. Crap. Okay, let me heal up Isla. And start searching for this, uh, this flame. Because I'm pretty sure this thing ain't going to take too many more hits until it is done. Alright, he's losing his light. That's how you can tell. Alright, that's it. That's it for the sun god. Or the son of the sun. And he will retreat to the back of the sun palace. And let's go after him. Alright, I didn't, I didn't notice the stairs there at first. Alright, so once you interact with them... He will leave behind. This is the Sunstone of Antiquity. It appears to have lost the light of it once possessed. 
However, it may be possible to recharge it by exposing it to sunlight for a long period of time. By my best estimate, it would require a minimum of 65 million years of constant exposure. So we get the sunstone. And that assumption that it should have at least 65 million years of exposure to sunlight is a hint that you have to go to 65 million BC and deposit this sunstone in the Sun Keep or the Sun Temple, which it was renamed in the DS version the Sun Temple. So let's go and drop it off. And luckily, you have a map because in the Super Nintendo version, you had to do some weird button combination to pull up the map. Or maybe pressed as one button, but it was much more annoying to actually find this place on the on the Super Nintendo version. On the BS version, you just follow the touchscreen map, which is very helpful. So let's go drop it off on the Sun Shrine. Sunlight reaches this location 24 hours per day. Place the Sun Moon here. We should now return to my era in the pony. Okay, so that's a hint to go to the future. I, I, I don't know who wouldn't take that as a hint to go to the future, but... Let's head over and I'm just gonna heal up my party. Don't really have much more fighting to do for this side quest. This side quest is just going between time zones and eras uh, to light up the sun, the sunstone. So there's no need to move from our location. The sun temple is actually a constant location that isn't available in all, I believe, five uh, time zones, time eras, time periods. The moonstone is no longer here. But the evidence in the case it was not recently taken we should look for it in an earlier era okay so that's a hint to for us to go to an earlier era either 1000 AD or 600 AD the correct place to go is the present 1000 AD so yeah this side quest isn't particularly difficult particularly difficult I could pretty much do it in one episode and then all that will be left for us to do is the black omen it does not appear here either. Perhaps someone from this era has taken it. Okay, once again, tells us that we have to stay in this era to find the sunstone or the moonstone, which has not yet been lit up fully to become the sunstone. Technically, it's still a moonstone, which I don't get because it needed at least 65 million years of exposure. So it's had like a 65 million and 1,000 years of exposure. And here's another hint. Guess where it is? It's in the mayor's manor. So when you go in the mayor's manor, talk to him. Moonstone never heard of it. Now, obviously, he's lying through his teeth, and he does have the moonstone, as you can see the little shine there. Well, there is a way to get it. Uh, let's go to the markets. I believe we have to go to this market and buy. Nope, they don't have it here. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go to 600 AD. Leave. So let's go to 600 AD, and this is very similar to Frog's side quest or the Cyrus side quest. You have to do a lot of backtracking through the eras. You should be pretty accustomed to using the epoch uh, this much by this point of the game, so it shouldn't make that big of a difference or that big of a deal. Let's go to the markets. Let's see, do they sell it here? Hopefully they do not. Okay, I cannot remember at the moment where the heck they sell this, uh, this freaking, um, you know, the, the jerky. Where do they sell it? Let's talk to this guy. I've gone and sold it myself. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Tata's been working hard lately. You gotta learn. Okay. Um, well, maybe we already have spiced jerky. I don't know. But anyways, let's go to the elder's house. If only I had some spice jerky, what would me like a make? Okay, so she needs spice jerky, so we're gonna have to pick up some spice jerky for her. And I believe there was some at Guardia Castle, I think. So let's go check, because I can't remember where exactly you're supposed to go to pick up this spice jerky. I just know last time, or a very long time ago, we were able to get spice jerky from the castle in the kitchen so let's go check down there if there's any spice jerky left for us to take ah a great dish deserves a great name it's a terrible complicated uh, master's experimenting with a great new dish okay where's the master the master of the kitchen where is he i don't see him anywhere okay let's get out of here
let's go to the snail shop. Check it out. Sh snail stop, I mean. I could, I've got some spiced jerky, but I've been saving it for a special occasion. I might let some in for 9,000 G. Sold. Okay, there we go. So once you get the spiced jerky, you're going to want to go to 600 AD. And you want to give it for free, no price, no charge, to the elder. Or the woman who was going to cook that meal with spiced jerky. She needed some, she didn't have the money to buy it, but you're going to give it to her. Just because you're that nice. Oh, is that not spice jerky you're carrying? May you part with it for 1,000 gold? No, take it for free, lady. Truly? Oh, thank you. I've thought kindness and sharing gone from this world altogether. I'll teach my children from your example. There are greater things in life than money. Surely there is. So, now that we've done that, she will now teach her children, and her children will teach their children to share. So once you go back to 1,000 AD in the present, we can get our moonstone back finally. So yeah, it is a bit. Con it could be a bit confusing for you if you're a first-time player or if you just haven't played in a very long time, like myself. But finally, we have the moonstone. You're interested in the moonstone? A passing young traveler left it here. By all means, take it. It seems to be important to you folks. So apparently, I believe he's sincere in saying that someone took it and left it here. Don't know who that is, but someone did take it. It wasn't him. They they don't specify why they took it. They just say, you know, some, someone took it. You know, someone someone took the uh, the moonstone. Don't know why, but they left it here. It wasn't because they were trying to steal it, because they left it in someone else's house. So, you want to return the sun, the moonstone, to the sun shrine in this era. You can only do it in this era. And now we can go back to the future to pick up the recovered. Moonstone, which will now be the fully refined Sunstone. My sensors detect high energy levels. Luga will likely be able to use this. We should show it to her. Okay, so that's a sign for us to bring Luca to the party. Put it right in front and let her interact with it. Now this is a proper sunstone. With energy like this, I should be able to make a really powerful weapon. Let's take it back to my house. First, we'll extract the sunstone's energy and convert it to a more manageable form. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. And it's finished. Now she does her little dance for joy, and she has the Wonder Shot. Luca's best gun. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look at this, Luca. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty of my own. Wow, sunglasses. <laughs> Wait, forget about this. the wonder shot. He has freaking shades, man. That is just too badass. Anyways, there is another thing we could do with the sunstone. And that is take it to Guardia Forest in 1000 AD. For the last time, we'll be visiting here. And if we go to the basement and show the sunstone to Melkor, he can combine it with the rainbow shell to make Chrono's best weapon in the game. Yes, that's right. The swallow is technically not Chrono's best weapon. It's actually what come the blade that is crafted from the rainbow shell and the sunstone. So you need to do both side quests to do this. Put Chrono in the front and show Melkor you've recovered the sunstone. Aw, oh, sunstone, that should do quite nicely. My work is complete. So now we've obtained the prism spectacles. Hey, hey, don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. These arms have some le use left in them yet. <coughs> <coughs> my work is complete. So we get the rainbow. Chrono's best weapon. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Okay. So that's it guys, that's it for most of the side quests, now we have one big side quest left and that is the Black Omen Dungeon. The biggest dungeon in the game, 
we go through it right before battling Lavos. And we will do that on the next episode, guys. See you guys 